Greetings viewers, thanks for coming back. Welcome to our series on Abdominal Cutaneous Nerve Entrapment Syndrome or ACNES, the most common cause of non-surgical abdominal wall pain. We're here today to talk about how we determine if the diagnosis of abdominal wall pain is the correct one. The first step to making the diagnosis is actually making the right diagnosis. As a gastroenterologist who specialized in abdominal wall pain, I've been referred many patients with so-called ACNES only to find that the diagnosis was incorrect when I examined the patient. This is distressing for all concerned because the patient has been suffering from chronic pain uh, for a long time and was hoping for a uh, treatment of some sort. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to offer that if the initial diagnosis was incorrect. Hopefully this video will help uh, some of our doctors and even our patients uh, ensure that the diagnosis is the correct one. So the Carnet sign, what is that? Well, the Carnet sign uh, was taught uh, at its most basic level in medical school, uh, but unfortunately it seems to have been lost uh, as we advanced as doctors. It helps us determine if abdominal pain is in fact visceral or internal or in the abdominal wall. Today, I have with me a patient to help us demonstrate the Carnet's sign. Come on over here. This is the patient's abdomen. This is the patient's abdomen in a relaxed state. When you palpate the abdomen, it should be nice and soft. Let us say this patient had abdominal pain in the right upper quadrant. So in the right upper quadrant over here. Let's have a nice feel. The patient is suggesting to me that there might be pain in this part of the abdomen. I now have to determine if the pain is internal or in the abdominal wall. I'm now going to look for the Carnet's sign. I will ask the patient to do a little mini sit-up for me. When the patient does a mini sit-up and holds it, the rectus muscle or the abdominal wall muscle is tense and protects the organs behind it. I now have another feel. If the pain is accentuated or increased, this demonstrates that the pain is in fact in the abdominal wall. That is a Carnet's positive sign. Please relax. If the pain is in fact in the lower part of the abdomen, we demonstrate Carnet's sign in a different way. We ask the patient to do a bilateral or a two leg straight leg raising test. With the legs straight, Lift both of them up a little bit for me. Excellent. And then we have another feel. Now the bottom half of the abdominal muscle is tense. If the pain again is accentuated or increased, this demonstrates that the pain is in the abdominal wall. Again, Carnet's sign positive. Once I've determined that the Carnet's sign was positive, I'll use my special technique to identify exactly where the nerve is with the aid of my high resolution ultrasound device. I will then target the nerve with a special cocktail of local anesthetic, steroid and normal saline. It is very important uh, that this cocktail is in a prescribed ratio. I will then uh, inject this cocktail as close to the nerve as possible. If within 60 seconds the pain disappears, I have immediate feedback that I'm in the right location. In such cases, the success rate, even after one injection, is very high in the order of 80 to 95%. I hope this video uh, would help our referring doctors as well as our patients accurately determine what a positive Carnet's sign is. Thank you for watching this video today. Please stay tuned for more videos on ACNES or Abdominal Cutaneous Nerve Entrapment Syndrome. That tricky diagnosis that causes so much grief with our abdominal pain patients.